There are new revelations on this Indigenous Peoples Day about this shooting at a recent protest over a Juan de Oñate statue in our state. For the very first time, the victim's family is going on record. They want this case going to the federal level. Spencer Schott spoke to the family's lawyer tonight, and Spencer, they want the, the, deep, the steepest charges possible in this case. Yeah, Tessa, Jacob John's family says they actually want this to be classified as a hate crime, mm -hmm. and they really want the feds to get involved. Jacob John's family describes him as an indigenous activist, artist, and father on the GoFundMe page set up to cover his medical expenses. Last month, John's was shot during an indigenous prayer ceremony celebrating the decision not to rededicate the Juan de Oñate statue in Española. I can please get you guys to move back. The family strongly believes that this ought to be characterized by the Department of Justice as a hate crime. The suspected shooter, 23-year-old Ryan Martinez, is facing a attempted murder and aggravated assault charges. But Johns' family says that's not enough. The facts of the case as gathered by law enforcement indicate that the shooter was incredibly agitated, incredibly upset, incredibly hateful toward the practices that the Native people were engaged in. And that's what qualifies it as a hate crime. Witnesses of the shooting told investigators they saw Martinez trying to provoke negative reactions by touching the shrine. Another witness says she heard Martinez making racist comments to children during the morning event. The shooter who goes to this peaceful native prayer event, he's wearing a MAGA hat. He's carrying a loaded weapon. His statements at the prayer event make it clear that he was motivated by hatred, by bias towards Native Americans. John's family says that hatred is what led to Martinez shooting John's after the altercation. Let him go. Okay. Can you give us an update on your client? Um, how is he doing? Is he still in the hospital? Jacob's still in the hospital, and it's a, it's a, right now things are dicey as far as his health goes. There, he was, uh, the wounds were, were severe. He's lost organs, for example. He's lost his spleen. There was damage to his liver damage to his abdomen. This was a, a bullet uh, ripping through human flesh, and it's just amazing that it didn't cause any more damage than it did. But he is not out of the woods. Thank you. So Day says that the federal government and the Department of Justice works on their own timelines. So we mm -hmm. don't know if or when these federal hate crime charges will ever be added, yeah. but the family added Indigenous Peoples Day was the time that they felt was the right time to start calling for these charges to be filed. Yeah, well, we'll of course be following it to see if those charges are filed. Okay, Spencer, thank you.